Hey there, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. And this is the sixth video of our exciting series, Build Your Own Virtual Assistant. And today, in this video, we're going to make our bot to have control on our desktop. Like, it can open any apps we told, it can play any music. So, this is going to be a lot more interesting. So, sit back, relax, and let's get started okay so now i am in my working directory first let me organize all the thing let me create a folder crpp scrapper where i'm going to insert this pod scrapper and let me create a folder called audio where all the audio will be stored and then i don't need this license chrome diver and let me leave the chrome diver outside let me delete output.mp3 from here and i need to do some changes on main.py so let me write audio slash so that it's going to be stored inside this audio folder and then here i need to do scrapper dot bot scrapper so basically we are searching like we are telling from scrapper folder dot bot scrapper file we want to star like we want to import star means all the thing okay so now first of all let us get started by importing necessary module so let me tell you what we're going to do suppose i want to open the chrome then whenever i tell my virtual assistant like open chrome then it's going to open the chrome so to do that we need a module called PyAutoGui which is used to interact with the mouse and keyboards. So let me import PyAutoGui. You can uh, install it by writing pip install PyAutoGui. After that what I'm going to do is just let me cut out this part and set an if condition if open in query if the open word is in the query and let me set the else block over here else and let me explain what i have done okay so if the open word is in our query then we want our ai to open that file or folder if not then we want our bot that we have created to handle this situation okay so in the open uh, let me write let me create a variable called app name which is going to be in the query so let me query dot replace replace the function which is used to replace something okay so in my case i want to replace open with an empty string so that like whenever the user say open chrome then it's going to replace the open then what we have left is the name of the software or the app okay so then let me make it speak opening plus app name and then i want to perform the main main tax okay our first task is to make our ai to click on the window icon to make this thing appear so to do that let me use pyautoguy.pressisin build function which is used to press anything like and in my case i want to press the window key which is denoted by super and then it's going to click on the window key then i want it to type the name of the software so there is also another function called type write to write things so let me write app name and then i look at over here okay so whenever i write chrome then it's taking some time right let me show you copy and cut it out and paste then you can see it's taking some time to show the content so till then i can make it my program to sleep so let me apply it to sleep sleep and which is going to be 0 0.7 second and then uh what i want is to press the enter by auto grid or press enter and it will work now so let me show you by clicking uh, uh by clicking on run so let me click on run open chrome okay 
okay so you can see it has open chrome but we got some error no file output dot mp3 found in working directory so let me go over here and okay so we need to change the thing also audio slash output dot mp3 and now it's going to work so let me delete this and let me close this speak function and now it's working this thing is working properly now after that i want it to close that thing also okay so i want to close chrome close any app i'm using so what i can do is i can just write a leaf close in query then then uh listen like user can say close chrome or user can say i'm um, tried close chrome user can give a lot of lengthy text okay so what we can do to make it more accurate is we can instead of changing the query and telling like if the user say close chrome then we don't want it to say closing chrome okay I want it to say done sir because if the user suppose the user say I'm getting tired close the chrome then it is going to uh, remove that close and just it's going to say I'm tired that chrome okay I hope you get that point if you don't get the order so here what I need to do is uh, let me first uh, right pi auto gui dot hotkey hotkey is a function which is used to press two keys at a time so if you are on window then alt comma f4 is used to close any program by keyboard okay so then i want it to speak mm, dancer Answer and let me run it. Open Chrome. Opening Chrome. Close Chrome. Dancer. Open Notepad. Close notepad. Okay, so now you can see now it can have control over our desktop software. Now it's time for making it play anything we want on YouTube. So to do that, we're going to use a module called import by what kit by what kit and here we will set up another condition a leaf play in query query then we are going to remove the play so we will write uh, song name equals query dot replace we want to replace we want to replace play with the empty string uh, okay my bad okay with the empty string and then we will write by what kit dot play on yt which is going to play the song in the yt which is uh, song name okay after that before it let me write speak play believer close youtube Sure. 
yeah that was it you can see how it works okay so in the next video we can do a lot of more interesting stuff and this series is going to be wild so don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye